Hello everyone and welcome back to the dork side. I am the dork in the woods. These are the woods. Today we're gonna look at all the mods on my Honda Africa Twin. That's right everyone, I am the dork in the road and I want to be your internet riding buddy. And I'm better than your regular riding buddies because I'm available whenever I want. What? Whenever I want? And I'm better than your regular riding buddies because I'm available whenever you want and I come with the mute button. So please, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on those notifications so that you know when I post awesome new dual sport and adventure motorcycling content just like this. So I'm out here in the woods talking to myself. <laughs> We're near Mary's Peak and I figured it was finally time to make a video that many of you have been asking for. A lot of you are very curious about the mods that are on my Africa Twin and so I made a comprehensive list for you. You'll find a full list with all the links in the description and I'm just going to run down really quickly because there's a lot and I want to fit it all into one video. So if you have questions or anything about anything specific, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And also just keep in mind that I bought this bike with most of the mods on it. So uh, as far as install, things like that, I haven't done most of the work myself at least not yet, with some exceptions. So just keep that in mind. But let's take a look at everything that's on this bike. Big thanks to Mike, the guy that owned this bike before me. He did a fantastic job setting it up with basically everything that a guy could want on a bike like this. And so it's really, really well equipped and I'm stoked that it has all the mods that I would have wanted and I was able to pick up a bike pre-modified to basically exactly what I wanted. So let's take a look at what's on the bike. You'll have to forgive me, I'm gonna use my notes on my phone so I don't forget anything, I don't wanna miss any mods. And I'll be working off the same list on here that you'll find in the description below. In no particular order, here are all the mods that have been done to this motorcycle. So first, these are the Machine Art Moto Advance Adjustable Handguard. So all of this is aluminum, as you can see, but it's such a crazy, interesting design. Here, I'll give you a close. It's a super interesting design because they're adjustable. So I have them all the way up because it's winter and I wanna keep the wind off my hands, but um, when it's less cold, you can actually adjust this down to give yourself a little bit more airflow and just have them a little bit more out of the way. And in the summertime, when you need maximum airflow, you can actually take out this plastic part, it comes out, this whole thing comes off and it's just pure, and this is aluminum, it's just a piece of metal with air flowing through it. So it's, in, it's a genius design, well done, Machine Art Moto. I'm, it's really impressive. It's unique, I've never seen anything like it. Next mod, and you can see them right here, but these are the engine guards from T-Rex Racing. This puck actually has a CRF logo on it. There's a puck here and another one down below. So these are the, as far as I know, the only Africa Twin crash bars with pucks that can actually wear down to protect the bars if you do end up dropping it on pavement. So kind of a cool design. This is the SW Motec side stand foot enlarger on crappy kind of muddy, slushy ground like this. Gives you a lot wider foot, makes it easier for you to, to keep your bike from sinking in, especially with a bike this heavy, that's really important. A lot of people have asked about the modification on this side stand. Mike actually did that because these side stands are notoriously weak and so that's just a reinforcement my plan is actually to leave it or leave something similar on there but hit it with some plastic tip or something to make it super less visible but um this side stand does feel super weak so to me it feels necessary to have some kind of reinforcement i've heard horror stories people are always asking about tires what tires are you running what are good tires so it's interesting because i had done a lot of research when i started looking into tires when i was looking at buying an um an adventure bike and i bought this bike and it had the exact tires that i would have bought on these are the Mitas EO7s. You see, I'll show you the back. A really nice, lots of tread, deep grooves, so good off-road traction, but they're really nice on the highway too. So they're a really great 50-50 tire. Brett from Moto Trek said they're the best 50-50 tire he's ever used. And frankly, that endorsement's enough for me. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll, I'll flip it with my foot. So it has a center stand. That is the Honda OEM center stand. It has a real nice foot lever for pushing it down. And it does a great job. We use it in the garage all the time. So let's talk a little bit about luggage. As many of you know, Giant Loop is a very generous sponsor of the channel. So these are the Giant Loop Moto Trek panniers, and these are the Giant Loop um, pannier mounts. And the cool thing about these pannier mounts is they make this system super, super slick and easy to take on and off, just like, just as simple as this. So it's a really great setup. These Moto Trek bags will work without the rack, but you have to strap them on every time. This is just a slick on and off. So if you're trying to get into your tent or your hotel room or whatever, you can just take the bags with you. They're, these are fully waterproof, RF welded, a ton of room. I've had a hell of a time filling them up, to be honest. My tank bag is the Giant Loop Fandango tank bag. This is the bigger adventure bag. I don't remember how many liters it is, but it's insane. It holds a ton of stuff. So I've got my tripod, my other GoPro, compressor, my goggles are in there, all my batteries, all my charging stuff. And with room to spare, them, it has a transparent pocket for your cell phone or, or a map on top. It's got a, a pass-through. It's semi-waterproof, but if you add the 
dry pod that they give you with it. It's fully waterproof. It's a really great option and I super dig it. These are the GV Outback side frames. So they will work with the giant loop stuff, even though they're specifically made for the GV cases. So I had to take off, there's like a bracket that goes over the top of this that I had to remove and then put some spacers in. So it's not ideal, but it does the job. This is the Alt-Rider rear luggage rack. It's actually how I got my tripod up here today. This gives you a lot of extra space on the back for luggage. You can mount another bag back here, firewood, tent, whatever you need. It really doubles your cargo space over what you have in just the passenger seat. Moving to the front, one of my favorite accessories. So I have the same product, just a different version on my CRF 250L. These are the double take mirrors. They're on ram mounts here, as you can see. So just a twist and you can position them basically anywhere you want them. They're really easy to move around. They're flexible if you hit something on the trail. Easy to just fold over for your off-road riding and then just put back out for when you get back out on the highway. Uh, the vision, field of vision is really good. I'm really impressed with them. I typically hate stock mirrors. I just don't feel like you get enough field of view. And these are a massive improvement over any stock mirror I've ever used. So they're really, really impressive. And moving just forward here, this is my quad lock mount that's just attached to the bar here where a lot of people mount their GPSs and stuff with a RAM mount. But so the quad lock is a two piece system that comes with this case and it's to put it on your bike. It's as simple as it's on one handed operation. So I'm on and off the bike a lot, taking pictures, doing stuff like that. So it's handy to have a system that comes off that easy. So I love these mounts, highly recommend them. These are the IMS Pro Series foot pegs. So they're a little wider, pretty sharp. So they give you decent grip on the bottom. They're similar to the ones I have on my 250L. They're bigger, better grip, a lot wider than the stock foot pegs. And I dig them. This bike is incredibly comfortable to stand up on. And that's due in large part to the rocks risers here. You can kind of see them, but these are adjustable and they give you a little bit of extra height and a lot of adjustability so that you can set up the bike for way, the way you like it when you're standing up riding off road. So these are a neat accessory. There's a link for those down below. So this is the SW Motec adjustable custom shift lever and you can see it slides up and down here so you can adjust it depending on how wide your foot is. It's a, it folds so it doesn't break off when you go off road. It seems like it's a little bit more sturdy and lightweight than the stock one. Uh, and this thing is much longer so it's a lot easier to shift while you're standing up over the stock one. And finally, one of the most often overlooked yet most important mods for any off-road motorcycle is this radiator guard. So this is the Alt-Rider radiator guard. It actually covers both sides as you can see. It's pretty dirty right now because I'm riding on these muddy crappy roads that protects a very vulnerable part of your bike especially when you're riding off road and your tires your front tire can kick up rocks and stuff into that radiator and break it and that'll ruin your day real quick so this is just it's just light aluminum but it's enough to deflect anything but a massive rock and it's really nice to have that extra protection so it's a peace of mind and something to really consider if you're riding an off-road bike i actually really need to get one for my 250l so that's just a super fast rundown of all the mods and accessories on my africa twin I know a lot of you have had questions, so hopefully that answers some of them. You can get full details on all these items uh, by using the links in the description below. Like I said, I'm happy to answer questions if I can, but I didn't install most of these myself, so I don't have a lot of the knowledge about how the installation process works, but I'm very, very pleased. There's nothing here that I wouldn't recommend based on my experience with it so far. So all good mods, all worth considering if you own an Africa Twin or an adventure bike that needs, that you want to modify. So if you have questions, please leave them in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support. Big shout out to my patrons. Thank you for your support. If you're real crazy, you might even consider joining them. If you got some useful information out of this video or an idea for a new mod, please just go ahead and hit that like button. It makes the video more visible, helps the channel out a ton. I appreciate your support. And for now, and as always, please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Thank you. Excellent! Has you seen it? Saved it. Look at that, bro. Helmet's falling, caught it with the camera, and basically Spider-Man.